Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. How would you like to live to be a thousand years old? No. <laughs> Think about the impact that would have on society and the planet. Geneticist, a Cambridge geneticist, Audrey, Audrey du, per, du Bray, predicts that a person living today will be the first person to live to a thousand years old. Oh. On BBC World News Tonight, they had many geneticists that loquaciously spoke about this. <laughs> and they're all in agreement that in our someone living today will be the first one to be a thousand years old because the technology already exists. They do say that person will be an anomaly, however, because the science can't be perfect. You, on the other hand, are going to die. <laughs> According to mortality tables. Mortality tables have been around since the early 1900s, and you can get them from any life insurance company. You can get them on the web. I got tables that I use from SSA.gov, which is the Social Security Administration. And if you look at those tables, you'll see in the early 1900s, a man's life expectancy was mid-40s. Today, it's early 80s. In 100 plus years, we almost have doubled that. Women can generally expect to live five years longer than men. The leading cause of death for men and women are well documented on many websites. You can get them in many places that change throughout the years. But for the most part, the five leading causes of death are disease of the heart, cancer of all types, vascular disease, and respiratory disease and unintentional injuries, like how to get that bullet in my head. There are some variations <laughs> in ranking when you look at these between men and women, but basically they're the same for both men and women. So I told you that you're going to die, and I told you statistically what you're going to die of. But many of us live our lives as if we're going to live to be a thousand years old. And this is very evident in people they interview on their deathbeds. If you listen to what a lot of people say, they say, if I knew I was going to die, if I had it to do over again, I would. And if you do a lot of research, you'll see that a lot of things people say when they're getting ready to die is very similar. For instance, one study I read, they interviewed successful men. And they were talking about romance and love. And 40% of those men said if they had it to do over again, they would take more chances in their love life. I assume the other 60% are happy with the trophy wipes. <laughs> um, according to Bonnie, Bonnie, uh, Bonnie Ware, who cared for many hundreds of patients in their last uh, months of life in their home, these were people that were dying and she stayed with them for the last uh, 3 to 12 months of their lives, she documented their regrets. And a lot of the regrets, depending on who documents, again, they're all very similar. And the top five regrets that people have as they end life are, I wish I had the courage to live life true to myself, not, the other, not what others expected. As people get closer to death, they look back on their life and they realize the dreams that were unfulfilled. I wish I didn't spend too much time in work. Many people, they say, I miss my, my kids growing up. I miss the companionship of my partner. And it's uh, one of the regrets they have. When she interviewed men at the time, 100% of all men said that. And now as a generation of working women have entered the workforce and have spent most of their time working on their careers, a lot of women have the <coughs> same regret. I wish I had the courage to express my feelings. She states that most people say that they suppress their feelings in order to make peace with others and therefore led a mediocre life because they never became the person that they could become. I wish I had let myself be happier. 
she says that she did, she says people realize they get closer to death. They say that they realize that happiness is a choice that you make. And most people didn't realize it up until that point. I would like to read a quote that she had to end the article. Bronnie ends her article with a quote, life is a choice, it's your life, choose consciously, choose wisely, choose honestly, choose happiness. If you go to askmen.com, the biggest regret is, I should have went for the hot chip. <laughs> <laughs> but they did have an, they, they did have, they did have an interesting quote. Their quote was, the worst thing about regrets is that it sneaks up on you. You're cruising through life, satisfied and happy, and one day the stuff you screwed up or missed entirely suddenly hits you, and at that point there's no way to go back and correct things. No matter where you are on the continuum of life, remember this day in July, Bob told you you were going to die. <laughs> so when the Grim Reaper comes and asks you what you would do different, I hope you only have one thing to say, not a damn thing. <laughs>